Hello, everyone. This is another Black Conservative. I am Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me. So a black woman made a TikTok video where she stated that only brown and brown skin and dark skin people can speak to her and that white people need her permission to speak to her. That's right. She said only brown and dark skinned people can speak to her and, only, and white people need her permission to speak to her. Now, try to figure that out. Try to analyze that in your mind if you can, you know, uh, try to analyze that. We're going to get right into this article here. Let's see exactly what she had to say and let's see the backlash. OK. The article says conservatives are showing their annoyance towards another TikToker who states that only black and brown people are given permission to speak to her. Unfortunately for white individuals, they are not. Furthermore, she made several derogatory comments towards white people mocking the color of their skin. Social Work Today states that a study reveals. Now, this is interesting information right here in this article, which I strongly agree. States that a study reveals both white and black individuals acknowledge a decline in anti-black racism over the past six decades. And it's absolutely true. However, whites tend to believe that anti-white racism is escalating and now poses a more significant issue than anti-black racism. I agree because I'm seeing that, but I'll get into that. Interestingly, white participants are expressing a strong perception that racism against whites is significantly increasing. However, racism against blacks are decreasing. On a 10-point scale, white respondents rate anti-white bias as more prevalent in the 2000s than anti-black bias with a difference of over one full point. So this is crazy. This is crazy, man. Uh, it says, it appears that conservatives are now mocking her speech. She kept pronouncing ask as ass, ax, A-X-E, and Twitter users felt that was weird. However, it appears that certain individuals who are African American may pronounce that the word sim similarly. And, you know, and I have a lips, so a lot of times my words may come out a little strange. I'm working on the lips, by the way, working on that. But yeah, that that that, that that's true to some extent. You know, some some black people may have a little slang in their in their pronounce, pronouncement of certain words, so that may be true. Uh, but yeah, she's getting mocked for this. Users are mocking her for stating that white people should not talk about. Let me say this. Users are mocking her for stating that white people should not talk about her people. They're assuming she owns some people. Following that, a conservative states that she should no longer speak in English as said language belongs to white people. They are stating that she needs to start speaking the language of her origin country. And essentially, um, here's here's one particular um Twitter uh, comment says she definitely needs to be in a straight jacket. She's comparing herself to the Lord. If she doesn't want people to comment on her videos, isn't there a way she can make them private? I say she's fair game. Let the trolling begin. Um, and and let me say this. It, it, uh, according to the um, article, it says that she made a statement about her in, in, the, in the video that she made a statement that she's like the Lord or something like that. As a matter of fact, let me read that says, following that, conservatives are stating that she seems mentally unstable and needs professional help for her behavior. In her video, she even compared her, compared, she's even comparing herself to the Lord. Lord is commonly known as God for most Christians. In addition to this, Twitter users state that she can easily private her videos for individuals to not comment on them. So that, I'm just going to read right there. But the point is, is that I tried to listen to the video myself. I tried to get to get some video myself, but I couldn't. My computer had been acting up. So I couldn't actually listen to the video to listen to her actual dialogue. But she appears, the video, the picture of her in the video appears that she is wearing some type of a religious garb. Now, what religion that, they did, that, that she's wearing, I don't know. It certainly is in Christianity. I can tell you that. Uh, but it is some type of religion that she's wearing. She's wearing something over her head. So it seems to be she's expressing some type of religious belief if, in fact, she did state that she's comparing herself to the Lord, you know, because there are certain religions that that state that black people are gods. I'm not making it up. There are certain religions I'm not going to name that state that black people are gods and black men in, in, in particular are gods. And that that's why white people are trying to kill them and destroy them because they're gods, which makes no sense to me, because if I'm a god, then I should be able to destroy those who are trying to destroy me. I'm a god. Remember? 
That's stupid to me. That's the most ridiculous theology I've ever heard. <laughs> you know, they can argue, well, we don't know how we don't know that we're God. So they have suppressed that godness in us. So we have to discover that godness by connecting to the right religion. If people knew exactly what the Bible teaches about them as believers and Christians, and I'm just going a little sidebar here, they wouldn't have to, they wouldn't have to listen to all of this rhetoric. You wouldn't have to go around saying, I'm God, because in Christ you are great. But that's another story, and I digress. Okay. Now, here's my assessment of this. Based on the information that I have read from this article. Number one, I do believe, based on other sources of information that I have attained down through the years and based on observations down through the years, that white and black relationships are better than they ever were in terms of, not now they're not, but I'm going to get into that a little later, but they were on the, uh, the um, Trump administration, there are certain sources that state that white and black relations was much better. Seems like there's always Republicans promoting the right thing and Democrats promoting, but anyway, I'm, I'm and but under the Obama administration, they said there were sources that state that black and white relationships were on the down decline. But the point simply is this: that down through the decades, black and white relationships have gotten better. I've observed that personally. Okay, I see black and white people together. I see black and white couples all the time, all over each other. So I mean, in that sense, they, they you know, they, uh, you know. It, it, the whole racial situation is on the decline. Okay. There has been progress made, but I believe based on my research and I've said this before and I'll say it up front. I believe that there is an attempt to purposely cause division among the races. I believe that this is a Marxist attempt to purposely cause division among the current order. Marxists purposely come in and cause division among groups. Okay. They believe, the Marxists believe, okay, that the current order based on capitalism has to be destroyed. So no matter how organized it is, no matter how peaceful it is, their perception is it's corrupt and evil and it's causing all the problems in the world, capitalism, right? So they have to come in and destroy the current order. Part of that current order is the unity that blacks and whites have made over the past few decades. You got to destroy that because it's a facade, according to the Marxists, and you got to destroy it, which means you got to come in and purposely cause division. And one of the ways in which, and one of the avenues in which there are, the Marxists are causing division is through the mainstream media news sources. Many of these uh, uh, reporters and journalists are Marxist sympathizers, and many of the producers and so forth are Marxist sympathizers who've been educated under a Marxist system where everything is the oppressed and the oppressor, and that's how they present the information on the news. How do they present the information on the news? As white people oppressing black people in one way or another. If it's a white, if it's, if it's a white police officer involved with a black person, it's always the black person is innocent, and the white police officer is a, an oppressor that just wants to kill the black person because they're black. That's how it's always presented. And because there are certain segments of the black population that are so dumbed down, they can't see and read between the lines. They feed into that. And that makes them radical. That angers them and gets them frustrated. So they're walking around with chips and boulders and rocks on their shoulder towards black people. I mean, white people. I see this once again, all the time, downtown where I work. All the time. There's hardly one day that goes by that I don't see that. And what I'm seeing is, is a lot of tension being stirred up among blacks and whites okay and what i mean by tension among blacks it's always been there because mainstream media has stirred it up so a lot of black people within this particular segment are too too goofy to see that they're being they're being uh manipulated but then you have a lot of the white people that some of them are getting angry some of them getting angry at all of this rigmarole that's being thrown towards them this is they're getting tired of it and they're expressing their anger and frustration, it seems, in these response, in this re, in these comments towards this TikTok, black TikTok user who made that statement. They're responding to it like, you know, you, you, you know, and they're getting angry. They're getting angry about it. And my point is this to say this about that is I said this before. Do not let these Marxists drive you to the point where you're ready to just go off. 
Because that's what they want. They want division. And they're going to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing until they get it. My thing is like this. I wouldn't even respond to it. If, if she says, white people, you know, you, you need permission to speak to me. Uh, I wouldn't even comment on her on her on her videos. I wouldn't even comment on them. I wouldn't comment. I wouldn't give her the grace. If that's what you feel and that's what you believe, boo boo, fine with me. It, it's not going to. If I was a white person, it wouldn't make me or break me, boo boo. I know who I am. I know who I am. So I don't need to make a comment on your. I, I don't need your permission to speak to you because I don't want to speak to you. So if I was a white person, I'd be like, I don't care what you say. You're nobody special to me. OK, not in a condescending way, but you get what I'm saying. You're nobody special to me. Why do I need your permission to, as a white person to speak to you? I don't want to speak to you. You're nobody special. You're not Jesus Christ. OK, uh, you, 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 you're meaningless to me. And you're just one of me, millions of people in this country. And I need permission to speak to you. Who are you, a professor? Who are you, the president? Who are you, my employer? No. OK, I don't need that. So I would be like, I care less. I would delete her or I'm behind her since the article says, you know, some people said the article says some of the conservatives were saying that she could privatize her comments. Well, hey, you don't even have to comment to her. My, my things like this don't even bother to comment on her in her comment. But I don't even say anything to her because all she because she's mixed up based on the information that I see and have read. She's mixed up in her head. She's so messed up and, and radicalized that she, she don't know which end is which. They, white people need permission to speak to her. Well, bye. You're not going to make me or break me, baby. And I'm just speaking from a perspective of another white person. You're not going to make me or break me. That's my suggestion to white people that may be watching this video. Don't even bother to comment to her. She ain't worth your time, okay? She ain't worth your time. That this black and brown people talk, talk to her and comment to her. That, she probably got about 10 or 15 of them. Okay, so let them comment on her on a little comment box, please. I saw the picture of it. She looks like she's insane, like she possessed. Okay, but my thing is this: and starting to sum this video up. What judging by what I've read, it's insane, it's crazy. But I'm not surprised because people who have been radicalized with this mentality, that's what they think, and that's what they're going to say. But my my suggestion is don't let the Marxists push you to that point where you're ready to go off because that's exactly what they're going to try to get you to do. Now, let me say this. The article states that 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 uh, some whites believe that anti-white racism is on the rise and anti-black racism has been on the decline. I agree with that because I see it quite often and I see the tensions uh, quite often on my job. I say that all the time. And I see it and, I, and, and, and it's disturbing to me and I see what's going on and I pray and hope that white people will, will not allow this to push them into some type of a revolution because that's what the Marxists behind the scenes want. They want a revolution to tear this country down. They want to bring about a civil war. I believe that with all my heart. They want to bring about a civil war and it's eventually what's going to end up happening if we don't wake up and see what's going on. And this lady, she's just one of millions. Now, let me say this and end in this video. To elaborate on the fact that I said she's one of millions. I believe that this particular, even though uh, uh, anti-white racism may be on the rise, this particular lady here is a, represents a minority of blacks, in my opinion. She's not a majority of the black people that think stupid like that. OK, well, wait, well, they need white people need the permission to speak to me. Who who are you? Who cares? I don't want to be. I don't want to speak to you. I'm a black person and I don't want to speak to you. I'll probably cuss you out and then have to repent later and ask God to forgive me because you stupid. But, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, it, it, it's like she represents just a small segment of black people and the 40 something million black people that are in this country. OK. And that's and that's and, and, and that's and, and since she's a minority of the black people that rep, that are represented in America, I, I, I you know look I'm like don't don't take this lady to heart, or I'll rather put it to you like this and let me and, and let me sum this up. Don't allow idiots like that to mess up your perceptions towards sensible-minded black people because that's what's going to happen if you allow if you if you let it feed your mind. Then the next black person that you run into, 
may be a good conservative black person because usually the ones that think like this usually are liberals because they're so jacked up in the head. Liberals messed up, man. The far left liberals, they're they gone. White and black. And usually they're liberal. So their mind's jacked up. So, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? But the ones that's conservative, black person that's conservative, you're usually not going to have that kind of issue with them, okay? But what will happen if you allow this mentality to feed you, then it's going to, it's, you're going to end up having a bad attitude towards them. And that's what the Marxists want. Don't let that happen. Don't let that happen, okay? So I just wanted to say that. Uh, what do you guys think about this crazy comment from this, this woman? Uh, leave the comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all and see you again.